Hi, teacher friends. Today we are talking about food. I hope you are hungry so we can dig right in. Now to start off, I'll talk about beginner level activities that you could use with your students as I have used with mine. And then we'll go off to intermediate and finish with advanced. So to start off, let's keep it easy for beginner level students. But remember that food is one of the first things that students really learn about, right? So you could have some fun with this. What I like to do is start off with some category, category games. So get your students to categorize food, name a couple types of food and have them categorize it and then name a category and ask them to think of a few types of food to put into those categories. From there you could talk about shopping and ask them how much different things could cost, right? So to create a grocery list and maybe have a little prices right sort of thing where you could brainstorm what the cost, what the average cost of these things are. Or you could do it like they do it on the Ellen Show and uh, guess the price of different products, okay? Um, from there you could create a menu, right? And uh, this is a great way to also introduce some great adjectives as well that are associated with food, okay? Just remember that as a language learner, as a human being, food is one of the most important things. <laughs> Let's just get that straight. So for an English learner, this is one of the first things that you learn, just like when you're learning any language. So try to have fun with this and really dig in. Don't be afraid to teach them a couple phrases that if it were a different um, topic they should wait until later because I mean with food they could really use this if it's dig in or um, uh, get munching or something like that whatever you want to teach them um, I'm sure it's good to throw one or two of those tricky ones in anyway on to intermediate we could talk about different cuisines and the food sources that come from those, right? So you could have maybe a quiz for lasagna and what what food do you need to put into lasagna, right? So say there's um, six ingredients for, for argument's sake, I know I use a lot more. You could um, have them guess what those six ingredients are, okay? Um, from there, you could create a recipe with, with again, more advanced terminology, teach them some verbs some more advanced verbs as well okay like a like a pinch or a sprinkle or saute these are the kind of things that you could start to introduce here and fill in the blanks when you're in the advanced level all right you could also um, create a grocery list but also talk about the grocery store right and this is a great way to talk about navigation getting around a grocery store okay finding deals and get, getting coupons these sorts of things right um i like to teach my students you know when you're going with your shopping cart you could turn left or you could hang a left yeah you could go right or you could hang a right or you could take a right right so these are the sort of things that for higher intermediate level and it depends where they are on this spectrum but for high intermediate levels they're definitely ready for that one okay aside from that you could uh, teach them a little bit of etiquette okay teach them to be a polite critic because even with people that you love um sometimes it's 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 not a bad thing as long as they could take the criticism and you're like on that level right and i know some in some cultures are more blunt than others but there's no problem in uh, giving some constructive criticism on cooking, right? So maybe uh, teaching some ways to frame different ideas. For example, oh, I, I, I really like how salty this is. I wish there was a little bit more sugar because it tastes so good, right? Uh, those different ways that we sugarcoat things and um, kind of beat around the bush. It's a little bit indirect, but it, it could make for a pretty fun activity right there. Um, and finally, for intermediates, you could talk about uncountables. Okay, I find this is a good way to kind of warm things up. So to think about different sorts of food and beverages that are uncountable, these uncountable nouns, okay? For, for example, with, um, with sh sugar, you wouldn't say sugars. Uh, how can you me measure sugars? You could say a jar of sugar, a pinch of sugar. Um, a, a tablespoon of sugar, right? So th this is good. Bring in measurements. Talk about measurements. 
and this is a good way to build onto your recipe. All right, and finally, digging into advance, I, I like to get into traditions, talk about different traditions, and what makes a cuisine authentic, right? Um, have a bragging rights competition, perhaps, like a kind of a debate throughout the class. You could put them into groups, and um, hopefully in not a culturally insensitive so, sort of way, but in a fun way, you could designate different cultures to them, and they could try to uh, brag about their food, of course, without shaming the other culture's food. Okay, fantastic. You can move on to a Hell's Kitchen portion, show them a little bit of Gordon Ramsay hot-headed right there in action, and talk about being under pressure, okay, and how this could apply to different areas of life. And how when, when we say we're under pressure, we could say we're, um, we're feeling the burn, this could come from being in the kitchen where I'm boiling hot, right? If, if, if you're very hot, that could come from being in the kitchen. These different expressions and phrasal verbs that actually come from cooking and uh, that are also applied to life outside of the kitchen, right? So try to bring some of those up. Um, yeah, keep, keep working on those verbs. Keep expanding that vocabulary. Uh, teach them how to give a review on TripAdvisor, okay? And ask them to give a real review. Perhaps you could, if you're fe feeling up to this level, you could even have a sort of cooking activity in your class and then they could actually review some of the places. They could designate the amount of stars, yada yada, right? Um, and, and finally, to teach cooking etiquette and eating etiquette, okay? Table manners and all that fun stuff, yeah? Um, how do you set a table in your culture? These are good things as well. So I hope some of these, uh, some of these ideas quench your thirst um, for knowledge. I hope you use these in class and uh, throw a comment down in the box and let me know how these work, if there's any other ideas you have. Um, un until next time, um, Good luck. I'm Ryan. Keep smiling.